What's going on everyone, Bobby Barks here and welcome to the semi-finals of the 1v1 FN tournament. We are kicking it off here with Bayat K99 versus Purist in the game. Bayat playing with a burst rifle. Not quite sure what Purist is doing with yet. That was revolver action and he did manage to get the down. Uh, Purist also playing with the burst rifle. Choosing to go with that revolver. And gets the first kill of the game. Hey, tourist, over there. Both players playing peekaboo. Bear's getting an aim down glitch again. Uh, if you're wondering what account Bayat is playing on, uh, is his name. Down one tourist. Got a beautiful headshot down there and pulls it back to 1919. Yeah, lots of strategic players from both players. Nice play from Purist. Regains the lead. Quite sure what he's doing here. That's one. Firefly, watch yourself! Uh, interesting positioning from both players. Very slow paced game is this one. Harder, over there. Beautiful shots from Bayat, and he does get a shot through the barrels. Pierce didn't know what had hit him. The scores are now level. Purist taking up an elevated position in the back of the fire truck. Hey, right there, uniform. Good, quick burst play for both players. I do apologise about my yawn. Purist does manage to heal up. Not quite sure why he's got a smoke bomb. Didn't get a chance to pick up the stick. It's a nice defensive shot from Purist. Can't land any others though. Bayer is going to press in. It's interesting that. Um, both these players are very Fire, defensive, and a lot of their Run, attacking. Bitch. Run. <laughs> um, a lot of their attacking movement when the when the corner shooting um, is based on uh, judgment rather than aim. It's, it's like they fire the shots because they're expecting their opponent to peek out. You know, like this. It's like firing and somebody's just right there because they're probably expecting the person to peek out as they shoot. Should have been impressive gameplay from both, but it's fair. Um, 
nearly as good as the way through this. I thought Pura should have gone down there, to be fair. It must be really low health. Both players have healed up, but Purus only has one burst bullet left, which is now used. Run, Forrest, run. Lots of running this <laughs> game. Good old Forrest. to push in by it I think will have healed up by now no versus revolver Town's edit of this, by the way. <laughs> I'd, well, Firefly, I'd doing these I don't watch these videos before I do the commentary. I do it straight off the bat. So <laughs> I'm seeing it for the first time, just like you guys are it for the first time. Um, good point. Purist getting his own back and does get the down. We're approaching the halfway mark and it is all level. Bayat does get that down from the elevator position and regains his one spawn lead. This is pretty close. Bayat didn't know where Purist was there, which is odd. Purist is now going to heal up. Take some damage, takes a lot of damage. He should have had it there, should be honest, to be fair. He's let that one slip. He should have been in the lead. But he's not, and we only have four minutes left, but that is a beautiful headshot. And these two are level again. Could be that we have to have a rematch. That close between these two, by ah, Both players go down now. Three minutes left on the clock. 13-13. Pure is trying to hit those shots. That's Down. a beautiful headshot from Bayat, to be fair. Takes the lead again, up by one. Two minutes to go. This is getting really close. This next kill is going to be imperative. Purist needs it. If he doesn't get it, he could kiss his chances of going through to the final. Goodbye. Down one uniform. Oh my God. God, buy it, Kane. Nine, nine. Take a round of applause, young man. One down. That is some impressive play from Purist. If it had lost that encounter, that would be it. There's one spot in this. Bayat is under some heavy fire from Pierce, so he's going to push uniform. in, but gets absolutely splashed all over Get. the face with Bayat K's burst. Hey, right there, uniform. Uh, the movement on these two is impressive. Down one and there it is, ladies and gents, Bayat. Goes up by three with 20 seconds left on the clock, and here's the one that is going to go through to the final. Or Hulk Ale 12. That matchup is coming next. With commentary from Valkyrie 887. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next one. See if they're trying soon.
All right, how's it going, everybody? This is Valkyrie here, back at it with the semifinals of the FN 1v1 tournament. Now, this is one hell of a matchup. I've played 1v1s against Lone. Um, I've played, I think, with Hulk only a couple times, but uh, not in um, privates. I've only seen them in publics. But uh, I know they're both amazing players. Hell, Hulk took my buddy Tony out, and um, Tony's one of the best players I know, so... I'm definitely excited to see this. I know Lone Wolf is a good player. He, uh, that was excellent use of corner shooting, I'd like to add. Um, Hulk got pretty much in the dead center there and uh, was completely exposed. And normally when you're in situations like that, the person with cover oftentimes is the one that wins. Just because the person in the open has to react to the person in cover coming out, right? And... Uh, I think we're going to see a lot of that. See, Lone would just gotten cover. He, he just did the exact same thing I did that Hulk did previously. See, 90% of the time, I found that if you're outside of cover, just standing there, you're going to die. Because you have to try to react to when the other person pokes out, when the other person's pretty much always going to have the, uh, the benefit. And there you go. Hulk got out of cover to try to get a quick shot off and died. I feel like we're going to see this back and forth. These guys seem pretty evenly matched um, to this point. That was a nice shot. Missed the headshot. I don't really like this spot too much up here on top of it. I do it every now and then, but it's more to uh, try to shoot people over the sandbags on the right there. Because uh, it's a double-edged sword, you know? You have a good vantage point, but the only way you're getting shot is your head, right? So, if, I mean, it's pretty easy to get a headshot if you're standing up there. Um, Lone Wolf going out of the other. 9 mil, I think he's got, yep. 9 mil is good, uh, Lone's good with the 9. Um, he needs to reload that 9, though. That might come back to bite him. This is a fire game. Uh, I mean, this is going to be quick. It's like, how much time we got on this thing? Like, like 8 more minutes? Yeah, 9 more minutes. It's going to be a quick uh, a quick game. They're going to have a lot of spawns. Hulk's down by 2 right now. If I was him, if he, I mean, if he dies one more time here, he should hit a box and get a, uh, get some welfare. He'll get 100 parts. I mean, I know that, you know, definitely, uh, they're probably saying no throwables, but you can still hit a box and get some parts, get that second upgrade on the burst, might help him out, nice, or not, nah, never mind, he gets the kill, good shit, headshot, yeah, see revenge, there you go, that's a lot of points right there, um, I'm curious what these guys are running in the loadout, I'm assuming they might be running Lone Wolf 2, and then they might even be running Sharp 3 on top of that, just to maximize the, uh, the recoil and the headshot health back. I think, I think, yeah, I just saw the, I think, I think Lone Wolf, I think that is what he's using. Um, and that's probably some of the best thing to do. I mean, that and then throw on fucking first aid and that's pretty much all you need. Maybe Marathon 1. I mean, there you go. I mean, you don't really need anything else when you do an FN. I mean, Scavenger maybe. But, um, if you have good box control, you don't need that. We'll see though. This is gonna be, uh, this is pretty much how mid-game FN normally works. Okay, and then they both run out of cover. That was interesting. I feel like that was a really bad play on Lone Wolf's part. He got hyper-aggressive for no reason. If you're out of ammo, just run back and hit a box. Uh, five minutes down on the clock. Three each. I mean, that's the thing. We've noticed so far in this trend, I think besides like maybe one kill... Every single time someone's died, it's because they got aggressive and ran out in the open. The person who stayed in cover won, so... I mean, it, that's the thing. Like, I'll be the first to admit, I'm not the best FN player in the world. I'm not. But I'm really good at 1v1s, and one of the reasons why is because I don't like to get stupid with it. And uh, trying to shoot somebody in cover when they have a burst rifle like that, and you're standing still, that exact situation, that's going to get you killed. That's going to get you killed. So we're seeing it over and over, these small mistakes these amazing players are making. Not to be over, you know, overly critical, but at the same time, like, that's what this is. It's the semifinals. You know, if this was an earlier game, I wouldn't be peering into it as much. See, so he's pushing left. Looks like we're going to have a... Uh, uh, nope, he decided to run. That's not what you do there. If anything, if you want to try to get out of that, you back up. You go back on the right side of the blue dumpster. That's the only way to get out of that safely. So, upgrades the 9 all the way, burst all the way upgraded, has ammo, spawn trapping. That's a good spawn trap. I've used that a couple times. Although with the burst, it's not really as effective. Not to say, you know, 
he couldn't get that, but I feel like it didn't really do much for him other than burn a health kit from loan. Excellent shot by Hulk there. And that's kind of what I was mentioning earlier in that when Hulk was standing on it, whenever you try to use those uh, those spots, the only way you can take damage is with the head, you know? And uh, it's a double-edged sword. It gives you a better vantage point, but it makes you more vulnerable. Now, Lone got that, so it is a good idea at that point to rush. You know, if the person's damaged, then yeah, go for it. But when they're full health, don't try to push like that. It just doesn't make any sense. You know, chip damage. Is he down? Okay, no, this is a repeat of five minutes ago, the same encounter. But see, Hulk's not just standing there looking at it. See, he, he again, Lone is running out in the open. And this is why when I've 1v1 Lone, I've won, because he does shit like that. Um, I had a feeling Hulk was going to win this game, uh, just because he seems like a smarter player. Um, Lone is a great shot. I'm not going to bash him on that. He's an amazing shot. He's an amazing player. But... Uh, he doesn't have the best strategy when it comes to encounters like this. You know, he kind of just wants to run forward and shoot you down and hope that you make the mistake first. But when you watch this shit back, see, double-edged sword right there. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, when you watch this back, I think Lone would probably agree that uh, a lot of these times he's going down, it's just because he's running out there in the open, and all Hulk has to do is just peer out and shoot, because you can't run and shoot at the same time. This isn't fucking Uncharted, thank God. Now that right there, that was just an amazing shot by Hulk, and that's the thing. The reason I'm peering into this so much and criticizing on this level is because both these players are very, very good. You know, there's not too much to criticize on the gameplay. I mean, they're making, you know, great shots, they have good aim. I feel like Hawkeye would be a really good, uh, good perk here. I don't know if that was banned. I don't know what's banned or not. A little slow there to get behind the barrels, but he's in good location now, especially with no throwables. There's, all, there's no risk. And running out in the open was very risky there. I will say, I would have stuck closer to the barrels, I feel. Wow. Wow. Lone had that all day. He is down, so hopefully he hits a box. He can get some parts. I mean, all you can do is really buy ammo. But, you know, the way he's using it, it could definitely help him. Oh, there's some lag, too. Interesting. I'm curious how that's going to affect the game. I mean, I'm looking, I mean, I haven't seen anything too crazy yet, so, uh, as far as lack comp is concerned. Hulk's up by what, four? That's a pretty good lead, but in FN, I mean, that could, five. That was a good shot. That was a good shot, I've made shots like that too. Those long distance one bursts like that as they run out of the spawn. As long as you know, you know, head level, that's definitely possible, that was an amazing shot. Um, there's been some talk that... Hulk has a, uh, a Cronus, but I'll be real with it. Um, from what I've heard about the dude, he's like some 15-year-old kid that plays the game a lot. It makes sense that he's got good aim. I mean, shit. I mean, when I used to play this game a lot, I had fucking laser aim, too. I, uh, I mean, this thing, if you play any game a lot, you're gonna have good aim. Now, that right there, he was down and, like, two more variable shots popped out, so it might be lag on Lone's part. Um, I mean, the kid's got good aim, you know? And uh, Lone's, I think, tilted now. He's just running forward, and he was using listen mode when he knew the guy was right in front of him. I think that was a poor decision. You don't do the things like that in the open. And here he is. He's just getting spawned. He's literally doing the exact same thing over and over. This game's a wrap. This game's a wrap. Hulk's doing it. He's just running back and forth, and that's all he needs to do. Yeah, this is a wrap. It's definitely been a good game. Uh, I mean, we've seen high-level gameplay, but I think... Whenever, see, again, Lone got in the middle of the doorway with zero cover, and all Hulk had to do was just shoot him a bit. And I'm seeing that's the constant thing. I mean, Lone's standing there shooting. He needs to try to pop a shot more like Hulk is. But he's super tilted. He's just running forward, you see. I mean, he's just right out of the spawn. Now, see, right there, good job, you know. He used cover, and it worked for him, you know. I mean, it's technically not over, but looking at the timestamp of the video, I think it very much so is. So, I hope it gave a good commentary. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, games like this, you know, it's I like to be more analytical. But uh, congrats to Hulk in the semifinals. I have a feeling he'll probably win the thing. I don't know who the other opponent is on the other game. Um, I don't even know who's still in the fucking thing. It's funny. I actually had it. In, I actually had an ability. Uh, had the ability to get in the tournament near the end when there was a spot open, but I uh, had too much going on. I would be in Lone Wolf's position right now, and 
have somebody fucking critiquing the shit out of my gameplay. So, as far as it's concerned, um, amazing gameplay on both ends, and these small differences, you know, I mean, the fact that Hulk's able to capitalize on loans, you know, small mistakes here and there, um, I mean, it makes sense. He lose a mental game, you know, it's not as, it, it's not as much like, uh, you know, like, you know, other games like Call of Duty and whatnot, where it's, it's kind of luck and shit like that, like, Tila, when you get tilted, you start making mistakes, and we saw as Lone started getting killed more and more, he just started running out in the open more and more, just like this right here, um, and I think this is gonna be it right here, so thanks for letting me commentate, yep, GG, guys, that was a great game, and, uh, yeah, best of luck in the finals, peace.